I'm Waylon. And I'm Lily, here to deliver your Wednesday news. Today is August 31st, and it's an E2 day for special area classes. Enjoy your specials. Here's a brain fact. Your brain learns and changes throughout your whole life. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Your brain also looks for patterns and connects no new knowledge to things you already know. Its it tasks will become easier the more you practice, so don't say, I can't do it. Say, I just can't do it yet. With enough practice, you can do anything. Stay tuned for a video about the brain after your after the pledge. We have two birthday stars today. Happy birthday to Jessa Faust and Brooklyn Gates. Go to the office to celebrate your special day. I'm hungry. What's for lunch? Today we have the choice between chicken nuggets with a roll or baked ravioli with garlic toast. Enjoy your meal. I have a joke. Let's hear it. Why did the pig work at the restaurant? I don't know why. Because it was good at bacon. I bet he really sacrificed himself for that job. If you have a funny joke, make sure to write it on a piece of paper or send it to us at abgvjokes at gmail.com. It, ma it makes us laugh, and you might hear it on the show. Next up, we have Miss Neenoggle's third grade class here to lead the pledge. On, on to you, stars! Good morning and happy Wednesday, ABE stars. Boys and girls, this morning I want to talk to you about one of our three school-wide expectations, which is be responsible. Remember, you are only responsible for you. You cannot control how other people act, how they talk. You can set a great example for them, but at the end of the day, you are the only person that you are in control of. For example, one thing you are in control of is making sure that when you arrive to school in the morning, whether it's car rider, walker, biker, <coughs> bus, that when you enter our school building, you go straight to where you're supposed to go and you use the shortest route possible. So whichever way is quickest, that is the way that you get to your class. It is not a time to stop and socialize with friends in the hallway. It's also part of being safe. We need to know where everyone is, and the best way we can do that is for you to be where you're supposed to be. You are Amy Beverly and Stars. You're brave, brilliant, beautiful, and I believe in you. Have a great day and lead the way. Hi, my name is Avery. Hi, my name is Daniel. Hi, my name is Zaire. Hi, my name is Josephine. Hi, my name is Allison. Hi, my name is Crossley. Please, Please rise for, for the, the Pledge of, of Allegiance. Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Not so long ago, many scientists believed that the brain did not change after childhood, that it was hardwired and fixed by the time we became adults. But recent advances in only the last decade now tell us that this is simply not true. The brain can and does change throughout our lives. It is adaptable, like plastic. Hence neuroscientists call this neuroplasticity. How does neuroplasticity work? If you think of your brain as a dynamic, connected power grid, there are billions of pathways or roads lighting up every time you think, feel, or do something. Some of these roads are well-traveled. These are our habits, our established ways of thinking, feeling, and doing. Every time we think in a certain way, practice a particular task, or feel a specific emotion, we strengthen this road. It becomes easier for our brains to travel this pathway. 
Say we think about something differently, learn a new task or choose a different emotion. We start carving out a new road. If we keep traveling that road, our brains begin to use this pathway more and this new way of thinking, feeling or doing becomes second nature. The old pathway gets used less and less and weakens. This process of rewiring your brain by forming new connections and weakening old ones is neuroplasticity in action. The good news is that we all have the ability to learn and change by rewiring our brains. If you have ever changed a bad habit or thought about something differently, you have carved a new pathway in your brain and experienced neuroplasticity firsthand. With repeated and directed attention towards your desired change, you can rewire your brain.